new world bosses guys yo what's up guys welcome to the channel so today i will show you guys how to actually do the two new mini bosses so let's get started so first we want to go start with the world 4 mini boss which is basically the easiest one for this one you will be able to unlock it by using toxic sludge which you can acquire from slimes or you can use the radioactive waste which will get rewarded from the post office once you get that you want to go to world 4 map and you will see these two mushrooms on the ground go to the mushrooms and just drop one of them waste this and then you will see the monster spawn they're fairly easy monsters they have quite a lot of HP but if you're quite high level you will be able to kill them pretty easily as you can see I was able to just hit them really quick and I got some decent rewards they drop some new recipes, they drop some eggs and some ladles for the cooking and also some time candy. So I'm quite pleased with the rewards that they're dropping. The respawn rate might be one day but I'm not sure yet how much. For World 3 mini boss, we will have to go to the blokes map which are the popsicles and you will need to actually get a recipe. So what I did, I used 5 time candies in order to get my drops and I was actually able to get the recipe with five time candies once you get the recipe you will need to make the bucket of slush the bucket of slush can be crafted on your anvil the drop rate for the recipe is 1 in 500 so it's quite easy to get once you have the recipe as you can see you can just click on it and then you will be able to add it to your anvil So go to your anvil and craft this bucket of slush, it doesn't cost much so you will be able to do it really fast and you want to make sure you have a few of them in your inventory for the next day. Now let's go back to the map of the blocks and you see this pile of snow, make sure you drop the slush onto the pile and the pile will disappear and the monster will drop. You will see that the boss has 12.5 million HP and I can basically one hit him. So that's the way how you can actually spawn the two new mini bosses. About the spawn rates, it's not really sure yet. I have heard that some of them take 4 days, but it's not confirmed yet. According to the wiki, it takes 24 hours. So we will check back tomorrow to see what it does. The cards that they drop are also pretty decent. They gave us cooking XP and money for monster drops. They also drop some new recipes, which are for the new old items so it's like upgrade for some of the previous items that already exist in game not gonna go much into detail for these but if you're interested you can see that i have actually acquired two of them right now one of them is the polished bludgeon which is a necklace you will need to get first the basic necklace before you can actually start upgrading this one and you can also craft the Dawn stopwatch which will require the silver watch and the bob pickle golden necklace which is drops from the dungeon which is also kind of rare to get so those are the recipes guys i hope you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next one